We just got Michael's school bus activity gym and we are going to assemble it. Just gonna separate the pieces out. There's not too many pieces. We have like the two big yellow ones, the blue slide, and looks like the red and green are the platform and the white one is gonna be the steering wheel area. So hopefully this won't take us too long. Good job. Good job, look at you. We put some of the decals on the two pieces of the bus and then we're looking here at the instructions and we notice that they call this part C but over here they call it part E and part C is actually the wheel. So when you're putting this together, don't be confused. Yeah, you are. Hi. I see you. I just can't get enough of the top of this box. Yeah. So we're making progress. Where are you, Michael? Oh, I see you. <laughs> I see you. Your hair is so soft today. Okay. Go. Ready? Go. Oh my gosh. Ow, I almost had it. Here. I need. Hold on. I've got an idea. Ready? Set. Go. Oh, I think you almost got it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is classic little tykes. They all have this piece. So be careful when you're putting this in that you don't just think you can just jam it in like this. Make sure you kind of pinch this little part and push it in softly. Otherwise, you'll end up bending your key as you try to push it in because the key is pretty strong, but the hole's not that big there. So here's the steering wheel, and there's these little white pieces right there. That piece, um, they're supposed to go in and then poke out that top hole there and stick out and that's what keeps the steering wheel in place inside the toy but you can tell that they barely stick out at all and if you even push one the other one goes in and that's why the steering wheel is not staying in all the way so he changed this ring to make it thicker in hopes of helping the steering wheel stay in better so we'll see how this works It looks like you just used foil. Is that foil? No, it's electrical tape. Oh, it's electrical tape. Or, um... Yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> dryer vent tape. Oh, yeah. So let's see if we got it. So there's the steering wheel. Oh, my gosh. Didn't pass the test. Okay, well, I have to say I think Little Tex is going to be getting a call about this toy from me. As long as Michael just never pulls on the steering wheel, like a normal kid might do, <laughs> then the steering wheel might stay in place. But it could be dangerous if the steering wheel does come out because then that little white piece will come out and then he could choke on that. How do you like it, Michael? Is it fun? <laughs> This is a fun toy, Michael. <laughs> Can you honk the horn? There you go. <laughs> well, it's got these little things on the steering wheel. This one is not, in my opinion, that exciting. You can barely hear it. There you go. I think they could have done a better job with that. We did um, find that although the plastic was somewhat warped, we were able to get it all back together so it fits nicely and it looks pretty straight. There's a little bit of a 
sharp edge right here. I'm a little concerned about that. It's really sharp. I could see Michael actually getting cut on that. So, I don't know. Michael seems to really like the toy, so although it was a little difficult and annoying to put together, it's pretty cute looking, so it could be a good one to get. Be careful, love. Careful. Oh, Michael. It's like he's too big and also too small. Because he's like too big because he's falling out and he's too small because he doesn't understand that he can get hurt. Huh. And babies shouldn't need to be that supervised when they're playing with a baby toy. They should be able to play with it. <laughs>